Hey guys, so we showed you the shoes and now we're gonna show you the looks for back to school. All right guys, so back to school is right around the corner for pretty much just about everybody if you're going back to high school, college, grad school, whatever, med school, probably not. The, these right. probably aren't the looks for you if you're going I mean, back to med school. Those are scrubs. But I guess we <laughs> curated six looks that are gonna take you through each of those. So some of them are more dressed up, some of them are more relaxed, but either way, they'll carry you through all of them. This is pretty much just a little experiment for Blake and I. We thought, hey, if we were going back to school right now, either high school or college, what would we be wearing? Yeah, so for my three looks, I went a little bit more of like your first day back to school. So when I was in school, on the first day, I always like dressed up. I was always like, you know, the second day was a little more casual. First day was new shoes, new haircut. It was a new shirt. I was like dressing to impress. And, you know, and, and if I was in high school or all the way through college, it was like the first day of school. So for my first look, it's, um, I guess you could say it's more of like your senior year of high school or you're like your first or second year of college. So it's, it's Chelsea boots, it's black denim, and just an H&M denim shirt. So it's very casual, very sleek. Uh, again, it's a little bit more put together than the norm, but I guess I wouldn't wear this on a second day or third day. First day, you got impressed, dude. All right, yeah. So I just did a little elongated textured tee with a bomber jacket. Obviously, it's summer, so probably not gonna wear bombers unless you live in that sort of climate. But, you know, fall, winter, I'm, I'm looking ahead of the first day of yeah. school. And then just some regular de dark denim with, uh, you know, some NMDs. So N NMDs are dope, though. I mean, those go... So, so yeah, I mean, you could probably get away with this look, just, you know, switching out, switching out a t-shirt, switching out the denim, and, you know, the same jacket, same shoes for a little bit. It's still gonna look good. So for my second look, it's a little bit more casual. It's just simply a black t-shirt. Give me like a simple $5 t-shirt, then some denim regular express or like uh, H&M denim and then some chukka boots. So the chukka boots is like where I'm kind of classing it up, getting a, lo a little bit more like elevated, but it just puts the look together. It gives it more of like, a, like an urban classic feel, you know, almost like a, I don't give up. You know, it's just <laughs> one of those looks, you know, and I paired it just with a watch, some bracelets, very, very simple. If you want to like elevate the look, you want to get like a kick-ass backpack. So I got like an all leather backpack that's going to like fade and get like a nice patina to it with with time. All right guys, so for my second look, I went with a black polo, some khaki denim from Mott and & Bow, and I kind of switched it up a little bit and went with a dress shoe because we got a lot of comments on the previous one that was like, no one can wear dress shoes to high school or college. You're gonna look like a dork, you're gonna look like a dweeb. <laughs> We're like, so, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys how you could dress it down, how you could make it cool, how you didn't have to wear it with a suit. So, you know, black polo, super simple, super classic. And I think a polo is, Maybe because I went to Catholic school and private school my whole life, it just feels right to go to school in a polo. No, yeah, I think I think the shoes weren't over the top. They were like perfect. I think if you would have wore like sneakers, it would have been, it kind of wouldn't like, it wouldn't have really matched. Because in the end, you have to like look good, you have to feel good, but you also have to match, you know? Yeah. It, has to, it has to look right. You know, so I paired it with a nice watch, um, cool ring, and that's pretty much it. I would maybe add, you know, a hat if you could. That's probably the only accessory I might add every now and then because you know these are kind of outfits you can wear throughout the school yeah, year exactly. so think about it that way you know how you can mix it up how you can change things up from just changing one thing about the outfit makes it a completely new outfit so think about that guys but you know what dude i also think that camel bag really like put the look over the top it was like a statement piece really cool it's big enough to carry all your books i mean if you're in college you don't want to carry like a, a backpack you know you want to have something that's I had a backpack cool. in college. Though. I didn't. I didn't. Throughout all college, I didn't have any backpacks. I will say what's cool about that type of bag is if you're wearing a dress shirt or something, you know, a little bit more classy that you, or a suit jacket, you don't want to get wrinkled. That type of bag is perfect. And yeah. trust me, it will fit more books than any backpack no, ever will. Definitely. Because I've packed that thing so heavy that it probably wouldn't have <laughs> made it through airport security because it was over 50 pounds before. But it's sturdiest. Oh, oh yeah. Dude. I love that bag. Yeah. And for my third look, guys, this is more, I guess, more dressy. So I guess it's more college, more grad school um, it's you know just some blue cargo like trouser pants kind of crop still very very simple um, an H&M polo a long sleeve polo because I have wimpy arms and I have to use long sleeves <laughs> and uh, just some sneakers but the sneakers are leather they kind of match it's, it's the, the look is very very simple but it's you know very elevated at the same time and since the look is a little bit more dressy I just use a casual backpack regular drawstring simple hold all your books take you from point A to point B. So for my third look, I think this can go pretty much ninth grade till senior year of college. Yeah. 
Um, it will work pretty much any time. I just use a simple scoop neck t-shirt, some dark denim, um, some classic tennis shoes, and then a lighter denim jacket on top with a really, really cool leather backpack that I think is probably my favorite piece about the outfit yeah, is the backpack. Sticky. But that's another thing, guys, is if something to splurge on is something you're going to be seen wearing every day. So spend more money on a backpack that you have to wear every day. No one's gonna call you out for wearing the same thing over and over again. But if you have a sick backpack, you know, it's gonna last you a long time and you're gonna look dope every day because you have the sickest accessories. Dude, I totally, totally agree. I think when I was in high school and in college, I pretty much invested in three or four shoes. And what I mean invested is like, I got them each quarter. Throughout the year. Yeah, throughout yeah. the year. But I always wore H&M t-shirts, H&M denim, Express denim. I wore like a uh, Zara denim, really, really simple unbranded stuff, but that I could mix and match, you right. know? So it made me look like I had 20 or 30 outfits, but really I had like five or six pieces. Right, guys, and like we're saying, these are just ideas of kind of how we would style if we were going back to college, so you don't have to find these exact pants, this exact jacket, you know, that exact backpack or shoes. It's just kind of the general idea of how we put outfits together and what we think we would look good in going back to school. Yeah, and for those of you guys who are in private school, or you have to wear a uniform. Jeans access, days. Yeah, jeans, jeans days. days or Fridays for us if, we're, if you're a senior, but accessorize, like wear watches, wear like necklaces, wear kick-ass shoes, dude, yeah. and I think you'll be fine. Uh, that's, that's the only place we got to have fun was, you know, accessories and uh -huh. shoes in Catholic school. We uh, had the same gray pants and polo. I went to private school all my life as well. Somehow so. I still won best dressed for senior superlatives though. Oh wow. At that best uniform in the game. Best polo. Polo. <laughs> oh, dude, I still have my, my school polo. Was yours branded? Yeah, I had Mercy, ah. Mercy Hurst Prep right there. Okay, so mine wasn't branded. I went to St. Paul High School, but it was like, it changed the year after I left. Oh, uh, the name? Yeah, no, no. Well, oh, they got they got branded yeah, ones? Yeah, they actually got branded ones. I was like, damn. I dude. should bring, I'll bring mine in one day. I used to get in trouble for wearing Ralph Lauren polos. Because it was like, you couldn't do that. It was like breaking the rules. Oh. You know, it was cool. You know, badass was over here. I was hip. All right, guys, so that's a very long tangent. Thanks for watching. Those are six outfits we would go back to school with. Comment below who wore it best, what you would pick, what you liked, what you didn't like. Thanks for watching. We're trying to get to 75K by the end of summer, so please hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Like this video, share it, tell your friends. Go back to school and tell your friends to watch this so they know what to wear. And uh, don't forget to like us on Instagram, at Jens Lounge, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge. And thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. Speaking of smart, let's talk about going back to school.